I don't know why I smoke. Does it make me a bad Muslim? Huh? <laughs> I don't know. Why I smoke? Does it make me a bad Muslim? It makes you a smoking Muslim. <laughs> no, I wouldn't say bad as in, you know, you're just totally bad, but you would have an issue like I have an issue, like everyone who does some sort of sin that is not necessarily smoking has an issue. So no, you cannot say smoking, a person who smokes is a bad person, but we say that's a bad habit. It's a bad habit. Now, the, the interesting part of the question is that you don't know why you smoke. That's impossible. You know, can you imagine? Someone's like, oh, oh, look. <laughs> smoking a cigarette is just this, you know, they show you this Marlboro guy, you know, on the cowboy who died, by the way, from smoking, and that's it, the perception is, you know, whether you look at all the advertisement of cigarettes, whether it was Kent or, uh, what was that other company, the one with the mint, mint flavor? Huh? I used to smoke it back in the day. Anyways, you know, they always show you these people on a yacht, you know, on, on out in the sea, all of them are in shape, Beautiful men, beautiful women, and they're smoking. And that's just the perception that we get. Oh, it's okay, you can work out and exercise and smoke and you'll be fine. But I wish someone would show you your lungs for you to really know what's going on inside that doesn't appear outside. Now, I smoked for X number of years, and it took a long time, and I'm still not there, to recover. Because when you're young, you don't realize. Your body is still durable, you have endurance, and it doesn't, it doesn't reflect on you yet. But wait until you grow up and then you will realize the damage you have done and there's no going back to fix it. There's no going back to fix it. So smoking is really uh, uh, something that you have to quit. It is very bad for you. It doesn't bring you any benefit. You either do it to be cool or because you're stressed out. Many people smoke because their lifetime is stressful. And they feel that when they puff that cigarette, they kind of relax and calm down. True, I agree. However, that is an indication that the faith in God is weak. Because a Muslim is supposed to find relaxation and the remembrance of Allah. When you're stressed out, either you pray or you remember God, you find relaxation. You don't puff on a cigarette. And when you smoke the cigarette, and it relaxes you, then you get stressed again, then you smoke again, you become a chain smoker, and then from that, from that moment onwards, you become an addict. Where, you know, on the plane, everybody's chilling, and you, you're dreaming. How can you jump out of the window to smoke the cigarette on the wing of the plane and come back inside? Or even worse, and that I couldn't believe, CEOs, People with money up and down, they drown, they sleep in money. He doesn't have a bed, he has dollars to sleep in. This guy is so addicted to smoking. You know what he does on an airplane? He goes to the bathroom, what do they call it, the lavatory or something like that, huh? And he opens the toilet and he puts his head in the toilet. He lights the cigarette, takes one long puff and blows it into the thing, flushes the toilet right away, closes it and goes back out. Just where someone had his behind. <laughs> With all the stink and all the stuff. Look at the humiliation to puff because it's a nine hour flight. No way on earth he can survive without a cigarette. Look at the humiliation you bring about yourself for the cigarette. People say, I can't quit, I can't, I'm trying to quit, I can't quit. You're lying. You're lying to yourself. You're lying to yourself. If a doctor were to tell you, upon taking some tests, that if you were to smoke one more cigarette, you will die. You're a smoker, you go to the doctor, he runs some tests on your lungs and whatever, and he says, look, I have the result. One more cigarette and you will die. Are you going to smoke that one cigarette? 99% of the people, if they're not suicidal, they will say, no, I will quit. There you go. 
You're just waiting for something dramatic, something extreme to quit. Otherwise, the will is there, but you don't have it on active. You have turned it off and shut it down conveniently, and you keep telling yourself, maybe I need to next week, not help me out, I'm str No, 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 all this is just bl bluffing. You're just bluffing yourself. If you and a cigarette were going to a boxing ring, who will knock out who? Can a cigarette knock you out? You're a man or a woman, big, you grab a cigarette, break it in half, throw it in the trash, done. If you wanted to quit, you will quit now. But you don't want to quit. You have some hope that you will quit. So anyone who says, I can't quit, they really don't want to do it. Because the doctor has not yet come and told him you will die if you smoke one more cigarette. But I'm saying to you, don't wait that long. You may get cancer the next cigarette you smoke. Don't wait that long. Quit now before it's too late. Then you can enjoy your life much better.